Hey. Oh, thank you, love. <laughs> I wanted to make a happy uh, Valentine, a happy Valentine's Day. Video. That's right. Uh, Not like tribute. the one you made last year. Oh. Or the year before what that. Was that. Oh, <laughs> I don't even remember that. <laughs> See that one? I'm trying to tell you. I wanted to make one uh, because of my partner. What a good creative partner he's been, in spite of all his flaws. He has a great many flaws, but <laughs> he's still been a good partner. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I Look, dressed him this morning. I know. It's, what? Don't help me. I swear <laughs> You couldn't give me a compliment if it was. I told him. I told him. As you can see, pink, folks, none of this pink, stuff is scripted. Pink, we pink, don't script anything anymore. Pink pig. Pink. Well, pink, it was because pink. last night I got up late. I couldn't sleep. So I decided to watch a play that he and I did uh, and put up on YouTube. Oh my God. Called Blue. Oh, now if you oh ever look God. at that, you'll you'll think, what were they thinking? Because that that play reading is so full of it. stops, starts. He lost his place at least 15 times and I would have to say, <laughs> and then he, would try to find his place. I think the problem was he was playing eight different characters. So he kept losing track. That's true. <laughs> I'll tell you what. And it's I not, it's not, not easy being playing me. five. Yeah, it's, it's not, not easy, easy being, being me at all. No, it wasn't. I'm going to tell you something else right now. <laughs> this is some I of don't the characters. Remember, I don't remember the damn play. No, he doesn't remember. Fill it in again. What the hell was that play about? Well, he had, you had to play the extraterrestrial. And, oh, of course. Uh, he was wearing <laughs> blue glasses, so he in would have order. to put the blue glasses the on blue glasses so people are. would know that he was now playing blue, the extraterrestrial. And I, I believe me, I, I could not watch that thing after <laughs> what? I tried to watch it all the way through, and... But, you know, hopefully some uh, producer will see it and say, this is a brilliant play. I think it is brilliant. My writing is terrific, but, you know, <laughs> his, his reading is <laughs> something yes. to be decided. That <laughs> send shivers down my back, I'll tell you. Just oh, and I, I hope my son never watches it because another, I hope he doesn't either. another thing he did was every time he had to play my son, he would sort of exaggerate a little bit. And uh, he had my son saying to me, Mother dearest, <laughs> dearest, that was one thing he had him say, which my son would never say. Uh, but, well, he never called you mother. You know, it, uh, he would call you dearest, but he wouldn't call you mother, <laughs> mother okay? Dear. Said, or he, he would mispronounce the name mother. Oh, oh, but this was for my sister, in honor of my sister, who's now in heaven. Forgive me, sister. But I thought we did her pretty well. Oh, we did her no, pretty well. I don't he was playing bolts blue, coming down here, baby. The one who loved her and was wanted to help her. She was at that time. She was dying of cancer, and she was really dying. She did die, and and so uh, I wrote the play. And she was bald at the time, so she was really, in, and she was also wearing a chemo, uh, a bag. You know, a, a, she had a hole in her stomach. Yeah, it's called a colostomy bag. Oh well, I don't know what, but it was, I know it was pretty. Uh, oh, no, wait a minute. There are two things. Uh, let's not go into that. One of them is it keeps chemotherapy going in, but if you take your colon out, then you get a cholestomy back. Boy, oh. is this bright oh. enough? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, happy, happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day folks. Happy Valentine's it's Day. Just, but, you know, I was just. You know, we got to get an outline I once in a while. Let me know what's coming up. I was just thinking of some of the projects that we've done together and what, how, how I should act, you know, more grateful to think that you came along and have helped me with all these videos. And, uh, you know, he's uh, made me look better while making himself look worse, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's such, there's such balance in nature, you know. One gives, the other one takes. One takes, the other one gives. And I, 
I've been giving a lot. And I've been taking a lot, too. Oh, yeah, I'm taking a lot. You've taken me for a lot, but let me. I can see what's going to happen at the end of this one. We're going to start all over again, and you're going to... I don't know. Well, he's there it's when gonna cost me. It's going to cost me money, whatever it is. I know it's Valentine's Day. It's going to cost me money. So. Oh, yeah. and yeah, and when, when he's there, I know that some of the men... That when I'm going on and on pontificating and they just want to get up there and kill me, he will say something that will represent their point of view, you know, something uh, quite negative. And, you know, that's what he's there for. He's there to anticipate what people are thinking about me and assure them that he thinks the same thing. Well, he, he, he doesn't believe anything that the, I do. The reason is he, that, uh, he thinks just the opposite. So he's there to represent the worst possible reaction to my, my thinking, right? Right? Is that right there? Am I interpreting your behavior right? <laughs> One more reason. I do not keep any revolvers or any kind of weapons yeah. at all. He's there to say in that. In the bedroom or in the bathroom or any place. I don't even hide them because... <sighs> yeah, yeah. well, creative people, you know, they, they can't get along. I mean, they're not going to think the same way. And uh, so he's fortunately been able to uh, get along in a less than ideal situation, uh, which all creative partnerships are. Because otherwise, they, they're not going to work. I mean, you don't... The ones that work the best are the ones that oppose one another. Well, Opposites attract. You know that old... Well... <laughs> yes, go ahead. You can talk now. <laughs> I give you permission. <laughs> you know, there's a reason that we don't... That we don't sleep on the same floor, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's right. You might definitely. be knocking on my door, you know. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't um, dare go out at night. There's <laughs> so I am a prisoner of my uh, in my apartment. Of your own devices. Once, right. once, uh, you know. So, uh, but anyway, this morning I told him I said wear pink, and please shave. That's why he's got those red spots. <laughs> what happened to your nose? I mean, you don't have any whiskers up there, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. If you can see nose hairs coming out of my nose, you're sitting way too close, sweetie. Way too close. Oh, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. well, he's promised me that we're going to go to the grocery store right after, and he's going to buy a flower. A flower for me. Mm -hmm. one, so, one he did buy this fading uh, right. poinsettia for for me or somebody. And uh, so he, now he's going to buy one for Val Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to see if he actually does it. Although, you know, he, he does do these things every once in a while. Wish you hadn't given me that plant you brought home, though, because it's all died except one little twig. Well, you got, you got, you got exactly 13 seconds. <laughs> oh, well, bye, people. He's a good guy. He is a good guy, you know. <laughs> hey, listen, if you can't buy, to, if you can't I'll buy your to leave friends, it at that. <laughs> if you can't buy your friends, who the hell can you buy? You can't buy your enemies. I mean, let's face it, you know. I mean, geez.